And we are back. Let's go see if we actually go kill our parents this episode. We're gonna have to go into that closet, aren't we? There's some rope in the closet along with other equipment. I wonder if this is fine. You guys take a look at it. Oh, shit. Nice one, Butterfingers. Son, what on earth are you doing? Oh, sorry, I needed two others. There's absolutely no good explanation as to why you're rummaging through those sex toys. And the truth, I want to tie them out. It doesn't sound any better. I wanted to fuck myself. Yeah, I don't think that'll work. Oh, yeah, that'll do. Where's your mother? She went down to get some advice. I'm actually, I think she could use some help. Confused if all you guys talk to your mother. Get yeah, got rope. Maybe you should end yourself with it. I would. There's really no... Is everything alright? Take it, your cleaver. Yeah, we're gonna do it, aren't we? Well, what's going on? Andrew, what? weren't you supposed to be most... Just walk down slow and steady. You tie up your father with a rope. You can't help but notice some of the old rope burns on his wrist. Not to... I do not dwell on it as you'd rather not visualize how it came to be. Andrew, I'm just checking to see if she's... Well, does she? No. Got Christmas lights. Christmas stuff mostly candles. You tell your mom using Christmas lights. Is this what your life has come to? Alright, good. Now, you turn remember to perform the... Hold up. Mom, what's the pin for your credit card? Is that what this is about, money? You go so far just for a quick buck. What's the pin and what's the card stuff? It's in my purse. She tells you the pin and you scribble down and out. Okay, then. I'm going to I'm going to try this now. Ask you to stay here and don't do anything. That depends on them. If she gave me the wrong pin and you end up that what? Again, it depends on if they behave or not. Alright, I'll be quick. Maybe something shouldn't just be done, you know? Whoa, 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 what are you doing here? Get back downstairs. They're not gonna try anything. It only, t it only takes one of them to start screaming this whole thing to blow up in our faces. It's amazing how a caught person with a gun to point at them. Yeah, so go point it. I'll be back. It's just, come on, out with it. I need to get going. Here with me on this one, sacrificing the thing. Didn't I say so? Well, you have this habit of flip flop. Lay, fuck. <laughs> Look, just trust me, Ashley, we're doing this. Hey, hey, you're the best. Come back soon. Yeah, yeah, I'll see you in a bit. You're Ashley. Why don't you busy paying the money to set us up the ritual or at least what you remember of it? Let's see, I think it evolved. Runes, candles, and blood. Music, runes, and blood. There was a big bunch of cigarettes drawing from that was going to be a self confident blazing memory. Yeah, something like that. It should be true to do. First things first, I need some blood to draw with. Which is size blood so isn't what we're going to need to cut them with. So we're going to have to go and get something from the kitchen, aren't we? Yeah, I actually remembered where the kitchen was this time. Screwdrivers. We're in here. Is there?
Fuck, it was so easy as that. Alright. I got it. Alright, so what's gonna happen? I'm gonna cut one of you to draw some blood, and if you scream with blood, your brains out. How about that? Just take the money and go, what do you need a blood for? Oh, so now you kill him, bro. Don't you fucking act like I'm a tribe with the Angela. You're the one who shut me out, but even then I've stuck my neck up for you all this time. Oh, like that time you left me to starve for three months? Was, was that you looking out for me? How do you think? You don't goddamn well when come out. I've never told anybody what you two second across the gym. Two seconds of the room. Uh huh, what are you talking about? Taking meds. I know you and Andrew did something to that class when you went missing. I knew at the second she was found dead in the warehouse you choose to play at. <laughs> Whatever. If I didn't love you, I could have rid, rid myself of you then and there. When it comes to being a mother, I am a fucking saint, Ashley. Ah, uh, yes, the patient said it covering one's own ass. Do you have any idea what they would have done to you if you found out? Now then, you paragons of virtue, let's see whose blood I should use. Truth. Yeah. Honey. It's fine, don't worry about me. Yeah, she could she could she won't worry about you in turn. Got blood. Alright, let's see here. That's a lot of blood. Come on, John circle, do you even know what a circle is because it's not that. There you two, you never No no, don't let her get to Come, let's come, come. In here. Alright, that's all I'm coming from. Welcome back! Andrew, give us a hug. You have a draw limit of your card. I do? You do? I'm gonna get a couple hundred of it before long, man. That suck a bitch. It's everybody runs in the family. Yeah, well, guess what? Now we all get to witness the wonders of customer service. Get up, you have a cold mic. I oh, should take over the phone. Oh, there you go. Off I go. I like just because service eyes just open for a day. Yet somehow there's already a million hour wet nights. So guess what? You wait. This whole representative will be with you as soon as possible. So just to confirm, you used to do when we were in the drawing room all together. That's why I said yes. Well, that's crazy. What if your car gets stolen? Indeed. I'm not at all being held at gunpoint here. Huh. There we go. Your gold. If anything out. Apparently not. Alright then, have a good day, Miss Grace. Now it's back to the basement with you, and don't think for a second I don't see where kind of center trying to pull there. It was just small talk. <laughs> that, yeah, you know, sarcasm really is something. At least. That's what you could. I was looking for what you set up here. Just say it's not quite there. Yeah, I don't remember what little runes are going. God, you're mad such shit. Though I already figured as much, so I sketched them out for you. Why don't you just draw the runes themselves? Just blow right down. Because you might have had a good reason for not drawing them yet. Alright, fair. Whatever. Give me the card. I'll go pick up the rest of the money. I don't really like the idea you want around by yourself at this hour. It's already morning, though. Well, yeah, but, I mean, still. Just hand me the card. I... Actually, can I really leave Andrew alone with Mom and Dad? Who knows what they'll to say to him. And he's wishing much enough as it is. Ashley, you wonder if you can trust Andrew enough to leave him out of here. Because Jack doesn't have a stellar record because I'm watching hostages. And I'm still not convinced that he didn't try anything with Lady from 302. Never mind. You're right, I should stay. You go get the couch. Alright, good. Here, the candles. Got lighter. And the runes? Okay, so say the runes are pentagrams. Okay, so the runes are pentagrams, but you have to begin drawing them from that. I didn't pay attention to crap like that last time. Very much fun. True. Well, you're the expert here. Do what you will. Leave it to me. First, I need some more. That's ridiculous, I can't believe you could brainwash. 
You brainwashed Andrew to play along with this? Brainwashed him, my ass. Who says you're allowed to talk anyway? No one cares what you think. Just don't talk to me like that. You're like, please. Got blood again. That's probably enough runs. Except for the music, but you might see how much time. I'm back. Oh, come on, come on. You're just in time. I'm about to summon. Ahem. Hello, hello, Mr. I'm sorry you didn't have the mood music on all the stuff you asked for. There's no answer. If I see something, please don't. Most of the demon shows up to spare anyone from the second hand embarrassment. Ah! Tarsal, what the fuck is that? I have for these two. Your screaming is short lived as the demons do as their souls. Huh, I wonder if I should feel something. So, anyway, the music wasn't needed to summon you after all. I had to play it last time then. The circle was hard to find. Sound is easy to follow. However, you have my talisman now. It makes you easy to find. Speaking of which, idea is a deal. Charge it up, please. Your trinket works again. Thank you. Wait, what? Hello? This is the brother? Yep, the one and only. He might be very useful, nor is particularly loyal, but. But nothing actually. Honestly, I don't know why I even keep him around. I see. Farewell, Tarso. Until you have another soul to offer. Right, thank you, and bye bye. The entity leaves. I don't know why I kept you around either. I don't know what do you keep me around for. I'm certainly no pretty lady, you can't even fuck me. Ugh. So I'm just the woman you blame for everything, so you don't have to feel bad. Where is this coming from? That if I left you alone with my parents, you would have sided with them. This again? I already told you I'm with you on this. It isn't beyond you to lie. Oh, come on. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry I had to think about it. But shouldn't it be telling that even after I thought this through, I picked you? Andrew picks me one day and then talks to somebody else once and it's to hell with me. That didn't happen. I picked you. What more do you want? I want to feel secure in this relationship because you give me nothing. Then wonder I can't trust you for shit. I... I don't know what to say. Well, just... Well then, just think about it. What are we doing about the bodies? It just doesn't... It just doesn't seem to matter what I say. You get like this. The bodies, Andy, focus. Right, the bodies, uh... Well, on one hand, we didn't kill them. On the other hand, having them gone missing would definitely be better for us. Maybe they just fucked off somewhere. Who knows? Meanwhile, if there's a murder investigation... Right, so let's make them disappear. Right, we can start by chopping them up. Can we just dump them in the ocean or something? No, Ashley, we've got to make them vanish. Not wash up ashore somewhere. Oh, before I forget. Here, you can have this back. Return the lighter. Uh, how do we go about this? I can't... I can't leave this. Well, there's a dream right there. Oh, right, you are. I didn't turn the parents, but stops. Wait, what? What is it? Is that breathing? You take a look, and sure enough, his chest moving ever so slightly. Ah, he is, mom too. You try various things, but nothing to get a response from parents. Either heart still beats, so lungs still drawn air. Oh God, what is this? Maybe losing yourself just turns you into vegetable. That can't be. The cultist died in the war too. Well, I mean, did you actually check? <laughs> Are you sure? I sure didn't. I just went to town and started chopping. No, no, no. Please tell me he wasn't alive when we ate him. <laughs> what the fuck is so funny about this? Come on now. I'm sure he died pretty quickly from blood loss. If not, you ripping his head off must have done the trick. It'll be the same with these two. Go on cutting. No, that... This changes everything, doesn't it? You want to leave them like this? You're not getting the souls back. Though, if you want to leave them to starve, I'm all for it. Wouldn't it be a little poetic? I'm sure you'd like that. Uh, I don't know. I need to think. Oh, come on. Where are you going? No, Andrew. Look. Look here for a sec. What? You get your father too. What are you doing? There. All dead. Now tell me again how I always make you do all the dirty work. He'll bitch and moan. Surely he'll bitch and moan per usual. But you did not miss that sigh of relief. Anyway, you drag your parents' soulless and lifeless bodies over to the shower. Alright, I'll start cutting. You got the blood into the drain with the shower head. Gotcha. Whoa, whoa. What? Stop, stop. Stop. It's flooding. Huh? Oh, what the hell? Gross. Ugh, again, the drain is clogged up. The lid is screwed shut. I need a screwdriver. You just keep chopping the bodies. I'll give you something to clog the drain with. This is by far the worst DIY project I've ever heard of. How do you clog this thing anyway? 
After we unscrew the lid, we can pour down some baking soda vinegar down the drain. That vinegar. Dry laundry, right? Tops it's sexy laundry. How, how uncomfortable. We need a screwdriver, some baking soda, and some vinegar. Upstairs, right? Go into the kitchen and find that. Choose the whole cabinets. Yeah. For once, I get something on the first try. The baking soda. And these. Then mix the vinegar. The soda starts bubbling up, but the clog doesn't seem to less than one bit. Well, we tried. I'll get you some rubber gloves. I'm the one who's gonna have to get in there. But of course, I'm a dangerous little lady. You can't expect me to do a man's job. Fine, just give me the gloves. Got rubber gloves. Here you go, have fun. And it Andrew the rubber gloves. He digs, oh God knows what is in the drain. It's a never ending amount of God knows what. Oh God, that's disgusting. Oh, I'm gonna gag. You're not helping. Fuck that, it's gross, Andy. <laughs> Andy doesn't respond to anything then. <laughs> good, good. Looks like he's finally coming around. Though there being no reaction as a, at all, it's a little worse. If the drain works, let's get this over with. Your brother is hungry, your parents, and disembowel them and decapitate them. What fun. Having regrets? I'd be allowed to say so if I did. Of course, you can tell me anything, anything I want used against me, anyway. <laughs> I love you, Andy. I love you, I love you, I love you. It's a little Habsburg moment there. I'm sorry for last year earlier, I forgot how hard this is for you. I'm fine. No, you're not. Talk to me. Yeah, I'll just say to you. He's butchering your parents. And for the first time forever, you have no idea what he's thinking. So what's the plan for all this? We're going to dispose of it all. Yeah, yeah, but how? We use whatever means are available in the house. Let's look around and see what we can do. We're supposed to put them in like trash bags or something? There's a chopped meat, got chopped meat, he's got a it's got face, got skull. What do their faces mean? That's all? I don't know, throw them in the fireplace? What about the skulls? Well, the skulls we can deal with later, along with the other bones. Ooh, I know, let's turn the meat into some soup. Turn some vegetables and spices and then throw the rest away. What do you mean, the rest? What do you think? I'm eating some. Do what you want. What's the soup you made earlier? And what were the ingredients again? The recipe is right there. Read it. Shame on me for thinking you'd be helpful. It was meat, onions, potatoes, and carrots. Chop everything up and throw them into the pot. Ah, there we go. Thank you. I knew you memorized it, you sweet nerd. You're welcome. Chopped onions, chopped carrots. Look at that, much better than your soup. Now, was there anything else we still need to deal with? Oh, can't remember the bodies here? It'd be like cremation. There's no way the temperature in this thing gets high enough. But who watched? Who's the about the fireplace and drills as I put light the fire? Oh, would you look at that? Nothing is happening. Give it a minute, goddamn. This isn't working. Makes me kind of hungry, though. Let's see this be for now. Everything took a turn to the 
darker side of life. Everything took a darker side. The crimson smoothie emerge, all of which you push on the signature. How's that? Good as gone. Great. Now deal with the rest of the body parts. The support from you today is just overwhelming, huh? Do you think the soup is ready yet? Dinner's ready. I eat you? Of course. That's the last hearty home cooked meal for a while. You really not gonna have any? I honestly don't see the point. If you're hungry, there's other food available. Mm, but don't you want to feel powerful? Explain. Well, uh, hmm, let me think. Okay, so humans are the top of the food chain, right? And then when I come and eat the humans, I'm on top of that. That's not really how that works, but whatever. Then what's your diet now? You sacrifice people, eat them for kicks? Oh, you're not getting it. Let me try and explain again. I don't need to get it. I just need to know if this is going to be a thing. I'm the one who's going to have to sort it out. It's like if I eat someone, I'm eating their entire life so far. Like everything they've known and felt, I'm consuming all of that. And if I can turn that into some sort of energy, I'm, I'll be all powerful. Does this power leave you leave as you shit the corpses out? Ha, <laughs> no, no. It's like absorbing nutrients, I just get to keep the energy, if you say so. You're not getting it at all. Even if I could magically absorb somebody else's life, what would I do with that? I have no desire to be our mother or father in any capacity. Well, these two I'm gonna shit out and flush down the toilet. Ha, <laughs> ha, there, finally. Hey, <laughs> nothing. Well, anyway, I think we've dealt with the flesh for the best of our capabilities, but we still need to do something about the bones. Well, first of all, I need to ditch the leftover soup. When I do that, I'll go clean the kitchen. Okay. I need to... No, it's not totable. I'm going to try to use this one. I'd have gone down there. Somebody seeing you throw the soup as long as you don't look nervous and no, don't think about it. I tell yourself right now. Ah, right. What's the thing? You should, you wouldn't worry if I even if I told you. It should be fine. Just chuck this into the trash inside, right? You got human soup. You are Andrew. I figure what to do with all the bones for now. We'll just collect them all before I lose this track of them. Those are burned to charcoal bones, all right, got bones. Put them in one of the plastic bags. Is she down here? Yeah. So what do we do about these skulls? I've been thinking about throwing those in the ocean along with the rest of the bones. So what should make them disappear, huh? What did all this crap do? Quiet you, as long as the teeth are removed, it should be fine. Based on what logic, the uh, dental records, is, I guess. You guess, how nice. Forgive me, oh beloved, for I've never gotten rid of a body before. I'm hoping one can't identify based on their bones alone. Teeth were identified um, in 9-11 when corpses were too disfigured in order to determine who they were. I remember some professor, I forget the name of him, was brought in there to identify teeth. It was the world's foremost expert on teeth. So I suppose he's right. I'm hoping one can identify based on their bones alone. Do bones float, do bones float though? Aren't they kind of like sticks? I'll find something to weigh them down just in case. Right. 
Or my parents teach me the screwdriver. Push sheet down the toilet. It takes a few tries to get not a flush. There, all gone. You wish you could do this to all your problems. So his teeth back the bottles of rocks and call it a day. Plastic bags. Fine, all remains now is kind of the basement. Uh, do we have to? Yes, obviously. Why, we still have to sacrifice someone again later anyway. Huh? What would it have to be here? We're going to live here, right? We just have to keep paying our parents' rent or whatever. I wish we could, but eventually somebody's going to go, Hey, Miss Graves didn't show up to work in a while, so they get fired. So what? I doubt either the bosses will care enough to file a Mr. Person report. There's also the fact that they apparently mingled with the people here. Neighbors will notice them gone despite their names still being on the door. We can tell, we can tell some lie. Say we're down, we're house watching for our parents and so on. Listen, not everybody gives zero shits like you. They have co-workers, friends, and their family besides us. What a bunch of whores. Why weren't they happy with just each other? I don't, I didn't imply they fucked any of them. Irrelevant, it's all the same. Anyway, they can't all go, haven't heard from them those two in a while. Oh well, somebody's gonna come looking for the, with the authorities and who will they find? Their children who didn't report their parents missing. Officer says, how the fuck aren't you dead anyway? If you don't want to stay here, fine, just say so. It's it's not that I don't want to, it's just I don't think we can. Well, can we at least use our IDs? We might be able the new and improved Mr. and Mrs. Graves. We're on the same problem as with our IDs. Once the authorities start looking for them, they'll see what we've been up to with theirs. <sighs> Sorry, Ashley, I wish it were that easy. Whatever, I'll clean the basement then. Can I, I really thought we were going to clear after all this. <laughs> Whatever. We need a mop. To be able to find another. How's that ready to go? I think so. Though there's no way to tell if we miss something still, other than maybe you have a dream where we get caught, I guess. I offer two souls, so it stands to reason. I have at least two visions to come. How about I take a nap and see if disaster waits us? Please do. So what are the conditions to get a vision? As in, what do the demons say about it? It's like, hell if I remember. You don't? Ugh. Could you possibly give any less of a fuck? That'd be great. Oh, do- Oh, do forgive me, your highness. It's been a week or two. And up your- I did it again, didn't I? Look, it just said that I need to hold on to it to have a clear barn dream, that's all. It was in my pocket last time when it happened. Then could I hold on to it this time? Nope. Oh, come on. Even if you had a vision, you'd just freak out and overthink. Your dumbass can barely understand what's happening in the present, much less the future. If anyone should be deciphering what these dreams are about, it should be me. Screw you. No, I'm definitely not letting you have it. Uh, fine, just... It isn't called for it. You're not getting my trinket. Fine, whatever. Have an, have an awful night, terrible dreams. And you fuck something when you go to sleep. What's this from ish Is the demon summoning me again? Maybe I shouldn't stay here. Mm -hmm. 
And I don't want to know what's going to happen there. Demons are terrible. And again, do demons and fire with culture, but that's not true we're being pursued. shouldn't leave an open door. Okay, we're outside on the end of this wood. Here we go. Oh, there are those flowers down there. Flowers. Because you have gone and fucked yourself. Okay. What's going to happen? You got white key. Just you. No, wait, it's only the. Um, I don't think we should talk. There, Tris. Come on, Andy. Plan is with his sister. Tag, I'm it. You should run. Wait, no, it's not my fault. This episode is titled. No, wait, wait. Wait, wait. And, and the. No, Andrew, wait. The final finale. No, I'm sorry, okay? I'll be better, just... Everything will be just fine. I'll behave, I'm, I promise. You've already shown me that's not true. I'm not falling for this again. No, 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 wait, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm so tired of your sorries. They don't mean shit. It's going to kill you. It's really going to kill this time. Guess what? Fucker, you thought I wouldn't... <laughs> All right, I won't fuck you, asshole. You're waste of my, waste of all me. I'm glad you're fucking dead. I'm glad you're fucking. <laughs> shit, shit, no, 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 no. Why are you put something like that? Why wouldn't I give her? No, he never would. No, 
Mike, it's Pussy Mike, or Andrew Mike. It's him, that's, that's Are they okay with you? Oh, uh, I, I guess I had a nightmare. Vision? No. Huh, no, it's just fake nonsense. Okay, hey, hey, Andy. Please be Andy, please be Andy, please be Andy, please. What is it? Oh, thank fuck, fuck. Nothing, nothing, never mind. I just love you so much. Thanks. Jesus, what a shit reply as usual. What a killer to say. To say back to me every once in a while. You keep calling me by some other guy's name. What do you expect? Come on, then. Our parents won't jump into the ocean by that. Oh, well, that's unfortunate, isn't it? <laughs> Oof. Are you picking them up, bro? Hey, now, I wasn't the one who packed them in this flimsy bag. I said, pick them up, you dumb bitch. What'd you just call me? Now, Ashley. Uh, oh, wait. Thank God no one else is here at this hour. Vroom, vroom. Okay, so don't stray too far in light just in case somebody else does pass by. The skull since I'm in the back. Whatever, chuck them. If you say so. Well then, my congratulations for your loss. Very clever. What is it? Nothing, so what do we do now? Whatever you want. Oh? Well, this is never going come. I'll end up doing whatever you want anyway, so why ask me? Are you, a uh, mad at me? Nah. I mean, what do you want to do, Ashley? I want to do what you want to do. What was those? Well, not that. What the hell? So much for my opinion, not that I was serious. You're totally mad at me, Andy. Why? Remember when you promised you wouldn't call me that anymore? Nope. But I remember half a minute ago when you said we do what I want. You're really gonna treat me this way after all I've done for you? So you are mad at me. I fucking knew it. I asked you for one thing, Ashley. One. Not a big thing, mind you. Not even a difficult one. Yeah, I'm mad. But so what? It's not as though you're going to do anything about it. Just pick up the next stupid thing you want to do and let's go. You were fine with me calling me... You were fine with me calling you Andy back at the house yesterday. It had to be done, didn't it? You knew I couldn't afford to start a fight with you then. That's why you started pushing for it. You think I haven't picked up on that? Well, there's neither appearance to keep nor corpse to hide now. Do you want to have another go at it? Well, what do you want? What do you want, Andrew? I want to lock you in the trunk of a car and drive off this bridge. Haha, <laughs> haha, you think I'm kidding? Ew, I don't even want to be in the same, same grave as mom and dad. Then spare me half the fucking respect. I give you. I will. Right after you love me with a half of the heart, I do, asshole. See, how exactly is irritating me supposed to be tender? Uh, tenderness. Huh, it's complicated. I'm a very complex person like that. The hell you are, you absolute simpleton. If I'm so simple, how come you don't keep, you can't keep up? I'd have to be stupid to understand the thoughts of stupid. And you can prick it over yourself, maybe later. Meanwhile, you should get in the car, we're out of here. Oh, where are we going? On well, the ocean, dumbass, you told you. I don't know yet, but I want to leave before the corpses start floating over. I wonder if we're fine now. Yeah, it's probably fine. And we're done with that! Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you for tuning in. It's been fun. We'll see whenever episode 3 comes out. And when it does, We'll be right back at it again. Take care, and you have an excellent afternoon.